All right, guys, God bless you. Here's part two. Let's go to 1 Timothy 2.14. Let me do this. And Adam was not deceived. Okay. But the woman being deceived to delude, to deceive, was in transgression. Let me show you the word transgression. It means violation, breaking, transgression. Very important you see this. To go contrary to. So if one's up and one's down, which way is heaven? Our Father in heaven is up. Okay, and which way is our enemy down? Okay, so look. To go contrary to. Now let me show you the root of the word. It's very important. To walk. That is by implication the foot. Okay, ready? So the woman was in transgression contrary to so male is up females down okay very important because i'm gonna i'm gonna show you the language of angels i'm gonna show you who the antichrist is according to the word of god who the antichrist is not according to somebody that thinks so oh, they know it on youtube i'm gonna show you what the word of god says and what the lord's revealed to me through all the supernatural information okay so here we go let's do it okay so it was the woman that was deceived. Okay, so here we go. Now let me show you this. Okay, now I need every every man and every woman, every boy and every girl to listen to me right now. If you're in a female suit, host body, it doesn't matter. If you're in a male host body, it doesn't matter. We're talking about the system that we're in, the system. Just let's call it the matrix. Okay, the female part of that system goes down to the pit. The male part of that system goes to heaven, and you've got both together within you. You got male and female energy within you. So you have your own Adam and Eve within within you. So you have good and the transgression that's standing opposite. So that's what takes you to the pit. The host body system was was produced through Parthenogenesis, Virgin Genesis. That's why the Catholics worship the virgin and the word catholic means double down full kata holy ghost kata means down holy ghost means completely so catholic religion i was born and raised catholic i was my whole life it didn't seem right i knew something was wrong it's because they are completely down in the system that we're in our host bodies so there's a right side up and an upside down you so there was a right side up and upside down jonathan but i it was going, the war was raging within me and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. I knew nothing made sense. But then when I cried out to God, he showed me the truth, invert the world and you'll see the truth. And then you're able to see that you're in some kind of a trap, some kind of a system of control. That's why the virgin turns into a dead sheep and we're the dead sheep. And I was like, wow, what is going on? And anyway, long story short, <clears throat> the system's right side up and upside down. And when you turn the world upside down, you see the truth, you make your appeal to God, you turn your host body over to him as a temple, you offer yourself as a living sacrifice back to the living God, and he takes over both sides, and then the cord to the pit is cut, and you're out of the trap you're in, because see, the pit owns you, if you're in a host body, the pit owns your essence, and you got to pay up, that's the way it works. Okay, so in the soul is what you have to pay up with. And so that's why Jesus came in the likeness of sinful flesh to destroy the works of the flesh within you. Okay, now watch. Everything I'm going to show you is biblical. Everything is in the scriptures and everything makes total sense of the world. Okay, ready? Now watch this. Okay, in Proverbs, isn't it fast? See, my son, attend to my wisdom. He doesn't say my daughter. He just he says, my son, attend to my wisdom and bow thine ear to my understanding that thou may regard discretion and that thy lips may keep knowledge for the lips of a strange woman. Now, here's the thing. A strange woman says, see, it says to commit adultery. That's right out of Genesis three uh, to commit adultery. The word woman. Uh, let's just, let me show it to you real quick. Cause I always come with the word of God. See the word woman right here. Now the servant was more subtle than any of the beasts of the field, which the Lord God made. So the Lord God made the serpent and he said unto the woman, 
Yea, if God said you shall not eat of every tree. Look at the word woman right here. What does it say? A woman adulteress. See it? It says woman adulteress. Okay, so here we go. So let's go back to uh, Proverbs. Now we're going back to Proverbs 5. Okay, here we go. Ready? For the lips of a strange woman to commit adultery. So right there in the beginning, the word woman, when he's talking to Eve, it says adulteress. But her end is as bitter as wormwood. So think back to the very beginning of the whole thing, but her end. The last part, the posterity, the end part of it, the end of time. See at the end of time. So in a cycle of the earth, what really the woman thing is begins to exemplify itself. It begins to manifest what it is. And that's what we're seeing in society right now. You're seeing this whacked out. What the hell is going on? Uh, Kajani, the federal, the federal uh, Supreme Court justice, she wouldn't describe what she wouldn't even answer the question what is a woman because if you're attached to it it's not what people think it's a monster the female energy is a monster that's hunting angels through the medium that we call the host body that's why the statue of liberty is on top of that 11 pointed star that 11 pointed star represents you and your body your host body your shell okay so her end is as bitter as wormwood, poisonous to curse. Uh, her feet go down to hell. Okay, look, her feet, the word feet is her steps to walk her padinda. Padinda is her vagina, guys. So her vagina goes down to hell, to walk along. You know what the word reconnoiter means? Reconnoiter is the verb of reconnaissance. So she is from the pit. She sees through the eyes of host bodies everywhere. And it's her reconnaissance through the host body system. Okay, so now let's go back to... Okay, hopefully this is going to work. So uh, let me show you very quickly here. So just understand the Statue of Liberty here is, uh, is a really good uh, image. Statue of Liberty, the strain. There you go. That's a that's a uh, series that came out, the strain, and it's really very telling because that's more like what the Statue of Liberty represents. Here's a good uh, here's a good image. Her pedenda goes down to hell. So it's a suit of skin. It's female, but this is what it really is. Now again, if you're a girl. I'm not trying to belittle your body. The female body is one of the most incredible, mind-boggling things there is. Um, that's why it's so easy to use it to destroy angels. So anyway, long story short, I'm not trying to disparage anyone that's male or female. It's just this is the system, male and female. So anyway, so there is a suit of skin. It's female, and obviously this represents the female reproductive system. Her feet, her padenda goes down to hell, and that's right out of the Bible. And so let's go to Esword. It says, her feet, right here, her feet, it says the padenda. See the word padenda? Okay, so if I copy the word padenda, just for the record, and I'll just make this very quick, Google Images, uh, padenda, uh the female, all right, female. So everybody knows her pedenda goes down to hell. There it is. So her pedenda, there's no arguing it. There it is. Her pedenda goes down to hell. Her pedenda goes down to hell. There it is. So that's where it reaches to. That's why Lady Gaga's got stupid love because it's a trap. See, the whole thing was a trap from the very beginning and we partook of the forbidden fruit by taking on a host body so see we're angels okay we're angels we're not supposed to take on a shape or a form and if you take on that shape or that form which is the host body uh literally no embodiment so if you took on your host body you were willing to do it you got duped by lucifer you took on the host body then guess what 
you are subject to absolute destruction because you made a deal with Lucifer. He's like your business partner now and you owe him and he owns the host body system. So you got to pay him for it. And the only thing you can pay him for it is that energy. But Jesus will buy you back on the cross. That's why Jesus was crucified in between two different guys representing your condition. There's a good you on one side and there's a bad you on the other side. If you accept Christ as your savior, then he reconciles both to God through the cross and you get to go back to your origin of your, your father in heaven. This whole thing called the earth is a big trap. The whole thing's a trap. That's why Lady Gaga has stupid love. See, stupid look, love. Look at bear trap. Okay, now watch. Now, let's go into a, let's go into a quick her feet go down to hell. I want to show you something staggering. Watch this. Okay, so now this is... Uh, the reason I'm showing you this is because I've shown you the deceit of woman. It's a diorama. The lady that did the, you know, the like big creature under the water. And then it's got a woman attached to its forehead. And she's standing there at the edge of the shore. So she's at the shoreline and these soldiers see her. And it looks like, you know, whatever, some naked woman. And they're like, hey. But underneath the surface is really what she is. Just so see, we can't see with our eyes what the female really is, but that's what the Lord's using me to show you. So here's an example. Let me show you. Let me give you a really good example. This is called the bobbit worm. Okay, so let me show you what the bobbit worm does. Okay, now here you go. Okay. Grabbed that fish and took it under. Now, let me show you what a bobbit worm really is. Watch this. So, here's what a bobbit worm is. It goes way down. Now, it goes way, way down in there. Okay, that's a bobbit worm. So, now the Bible just showed you that her feet go down to hell. And what's in hell? A bunch of insects. It says Satan is the king of... Satan is the king of the locusts with tails like scorpions from the pit. So here's a girl's dress. It's an insect. Here's Broken Promises uh, clothing line. It's a, a, it's a rubber doll on a t-shirt, but it's a demon coming out. It says what's inside is what counts. Uh, this is Broken Promises. Shut the F up because the female thing is really the most disguised thing you could even begin to imagine. Here's a representation of what it really is. Her feet go down to hell. She, it's no different than a bobbit worm. And then let me let me let you read about very quickly the Statue of Liberty. So the Kelepot, which is the eleven-pointed star, the Statue of Liberty is standing on, is called a peel husker shell. It is inherently evil, housing the essence of holiness. Okay, ready? You're the holiness. It's housing your spark of life. That's what Satan wants. That's what he's after. And the way he's going to get it is to get you to agree to taking on a host body. That's the forbidden fruit. But when it's time to collect, he comes to collect. And the only thing he's going to take in, in is your soul. But the only way not to have to pay that is Christ on the cross. That's the only payment that will suffice for your soul. So anyway, uh, so here we go. So here's the twin towers because see, it's the twin system. That's why you see these two twin yellow triangles up here. This represents like the twin towers and she, the the female thing runs the twin system. Okay, and then the, the star in the dead center of it, see the, the star, that's your your essence of holiness and you see the green hexagram. Picture that going down to all the way to the pit to where you have your own worm attached to you through one eye. Think of an invisible cord, an invisible cord that goes to your left eye where she sees through you, she hears through you. You're just one of the hive and that's the way she keeps the record against you. And that's the way Satan keeps it because Satan runs the twin female energy. Got it. So anyway, here's the mechanism. Here it is, uh, you know, easy to see the twin towers. And that's why they bombed the twin towers and put the one world freedom tower because they're saying that this cycle is over. 
because when you see the two see the two yellow triangles representing the twin system just like the twin towers right here that's what these two triangles represent the twin system now when you look at the middle you'll see one triangle up that's uh your connection to heaven the triangle down that's your connection to the pit the star in the middle is you but after the cycle is completed so just look at you see this little red triangle going this way and the blue one going this way this one goes this way this one goes with this way you take the high road i'll take the low road and i'll get to the bottom before you anyway so the two yellow triangles there's two up at the top but at the bottom it becomes one and that's the goal is to uh convert you through the twin system into one thing in the pit so you go in you go into spit out, they got gotcha. you. Spit out, gotcha. So you have to stop that process during your life. And that's why it always says, turn back to the Lord your God. Turn back. So you see, you got to turn back and stop the process. Now, your host body is going to die, but flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. So you're going to go back to your source. But you get a glorified body. You don't have to have one of these awful flesh bodies that we're trapped in now. Here you go. That's why they replaced the Twin Towers with the One World Freedom Tower. The two became one. Okay, now, just a good analogy. Let me let you read. This is very important. A good teacher will have you read all the definitions. The Sitra Akra. Okay, so the Sitra Akra is the realm of evil from the other side. The Kelepot is the is the 11 pointed star that the statue of liberty is standing on it means a peel shell or husk see peel shell or husk right here from the singular clipa husk which are a representation so your host body your husk your shell is a representation of evil or impure spiritual forces uh in jewish mysticism the kabbalah they are the polar opposites of the holy sephirat so What's a polar opposite? Well, one pulls up, one pulls down. So your your flesh is the polar opposite of what's holy, which is up and the, the so they're down. So they take you down. That's why her her pedinda goes down to hell. Okay, so they're the polar opposites of the holy sephirat. The realm of evil is called the Sitra Akra in Aramaic. It means the other side opposite holiness. Now, isn't it fascinating that in in um, the Bible, the, the God of the Jews is called the God of the other side? Because to them, we're the other side. You get it? So the God of the Jews, when they're talking to Pharaoh, hey, let us go into the desert and sacrifice to our God. And uh, the God of the Hebrews is called the God of the other side. There you go. Now, it's now I'm proving it out. This is not my opinion. These are absolute facts. I mean, I'm just giving you the... Okay, here you go. Ready? <clears throat> now, I want, I'm going to read this so everybody, I'm, I'm trying to increase your knowledge because I'm going to give you this language of angels now, and it's you got to have your foundation so you understand all this because this is going to change. This changes the world, the fabric. Okay, watch. In Jewish Kabbalistic cosmology, the Kelepot are metaphorical shells surrounding holiness. They are spiritual. So your body is a spiritual obstacle to receiving their existence from God only in an external rather than internal manner. Divinity in Judaism connotes revelation of God's true unity, while the shells, the Kelepot, the 11-pointed stars that Statue of Liberty stands on, uh, which is your body, conceals holiness as a peel conceals the fruit within. They are therefore cinnamons with idolatry. Ready? So your host body, according to the Jews, is a synonym for an idol. Right there. So see, to understand our God, because our God is the God of the Jews, right? Jewish. Jesus, he's the God of the Jews, the Hebrews. Okay, they are therefore cinnamon, synonyms with idolatry, the root of impurity through ascribing false dualism, false dualism, dual twins in the divine. So there's a false dualism in the divine and with the citra akra, the other side. So, so, so now because of the host body, it ascribes a false twin system to holiness 
Shema Israel for the Lord your God is one. That's why you got to be converted from two things into one thing spiritually so here on the earth they take you and they're converting you through the host body system into their thing from the pit by getting your soul when you die you go to the pit and they've got you now they've converted you there's no way back okay now watch this so they they trap you in your idolatrous host body with this false dual dualism in the divine with the citra akra the other side the perceived realm opposite to holiness the Shekinah is separated in creation from the Sephirot by man's sin. While divinity, so see your divinity, your spark, your divinity is exiled in the Kelepot. See, divinity is exiled in the Kelepot. Now you know why it's called the Statue of Liberty. Now it's called the Mother of Exiles. See, now we've cracked through their little hide-and-seek show. The Statue of Liberty is a spiritual thing. It's a giant spiritual landmark where Satan is mocking all God's children. He's like, I'm going to build the Statue of Liberty. I'm going to put it facing east where life, sun comes up. But she's going to be standing on top of the host body, representing that she is taking all the life that comes into the host body, which is a statue of liberty. See, your body is your statue of liberty, but you weren't supposed to do that. Now, the essence of the whole Bible is being revealed right now. This is what it's all about. This is the whole thing. No host body, no sex, with because uh, you're committing spiritual adultery. Because when you're at, when you're linking up to a female, and it's it's two different things. You're having sex with another race of beings. You're having sex with Satan in drag is what you're doing. Satan is just in a a, a costume called the host body. So you're really having sex with Satan through the host body. So you're really you know you think uh, oh yeah this is great well. It says there's a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it le is death. See, it seems all normal and natural. This is what we're supposed to do, and it does, but no one ever questioned it. I did. I questioned it. I'm like, this doesn't seem right. This can't be all there is to life. This doesn't make any sense. And I cried out, and the Lord showed me, and here it is. Here's the absolute proof. So divinity, which is your spark of holiness, is exiled in the Kelepot your host body, your shell, your peel, or your husk. From the prior initial catastrophe and creation, thus ca causes sparks of holiness to be exiled in the Kelepot. That's why the Statue of Liberty is standing on top of an 11-pointed star. There she is, look. Statue of Liberty on top of the 11-pointed star, same as Baphomet floating over the 11-pointed star. with the, And what's coming out of the middle of the Baphomet thing? Energy. Because Baphomet's sucking up the energy from the system. You get it? So Baphomet, this is Satan's system right here you're looking at. Here's Baphomet, Satan, and male and female. So male and female parts. And he's benefiting from the energy in the system. And that's what the Statue of Liberty is. Statue of Liberty standing on top of this exact 11-pointed star. It's just shaped a little different, but it's the same thing. 11 pointed star. There it is. Okay, so now that's proven. And then let's see, I've given you the definitions now. And then I showed you just like Adam and Eve. So this represents Adam and he's put to sleep. And then Eve is taken out of his side, female, uh, down in the opposite direction. And look how the colors change. See, uh, purple is on the bottom, red's on the top. But then the the gay pie, pride flag and the lgbtq 2s now two spirits get it two spirits because they know that their system is combine those spirits and that's the way to kill the purity of god's angels through the husband cleanse your hearts you double-minded now it all makes sense now we understand everything so there it is okay now okay now let's watch the clip now let's watch the clip with uh, the guys in in Pulp Fiction. Now here again, here's Millie Vanilli. These guys are total frauds. They're complete posers. They're not singers. They're just two guys. They're feminine. They have feminine qualities, which is fine. But they are posers, and they can't sing, and they were posing on everyone. I want you to look at their logo for their band. Look at the M. 
see the M and then look at the V. Now look at this, look over here at the, at the uh, calipot here at the hendecogram. Look right here, see the letter M right here, M. See it, see the two triangles, they did it on purpose. There's the M and then what happens at the bottom, what happens at the bottom? The M becomes the V, see it, milli vanilli. Now what's really crazy is, uh, what's really, really, really crazy is what illy means and they, they put it in their thing, watch this. Illy means forbidden and unlawful illicit. What does the word Latin illy mean? Forbidden, unlawful, and illicit. And it's also a caterpillar, is a small worm-like animal that eventually develops into a butterfly or a moth. So watch this. In their logo, Milly and Vanilli, look. See how they did the, look at the M and the V. Look how they did the I-L-L-I, -L -L -I, illy. Unlawful, illicit, because see, we're not supposed to be in a shape or a form. Angels are not supposed to take on shapes or form. It's idolatry. The human host body is idolatry. Now we're going to watch Pulp Fiction. Now, remember this, the name Brett, B-R-E-T. That's the guy that's going to be sitting at the table when Samuel Jackson and, and John Travolta walk in to collect. They're there to collect. Hey, you got the, the shit? Where is it? The briefcase, the box with the soul in it. Okay, so see, they show up. A uh, black guy and a white guy represents the system that you came into, just like the Ian Bud Light commercial. Remember Ian Bud Light? He, he goes, hey, if I give you this, are you for up for whatever happens? And he sh makes a deal. So he makes a deal with Kelly, female warrior. He goes on a date with these two twins. Everybody's a twin. Ian gets his own black twin, Don Cheadle, dressed exactly the same. Do you see how they're mocking the crap out of us now? But now they're busted. They're completely busted now. So anyway, so in the Bud Light commercial, Ian goes to the party with... Uh, the two uh, twins, and when the party he goes to, everyone's a twin, and then Ian has his own doppelganger, Don Cheadle, dressed identically. So now he's taken the bait, taking the bait, just like uh, we all took the bait. We took on our host body, and we got our host. We, we said we would do it. We got our host body. We're born into the flesh, but now we don't know who we are or where we are. That's why the Bible says your identity is hidden in Christ. That's why the Bible says, arise, O sleeper, wake up from the dead, and Christ will give you light. So see, I'm give, trying to give you the light by showing you the system, getting you to get inverted, converted, make your appeal to God so you don't have to worry about when you die, where you go, you'll be fine. Okay, so there it is. Milly Vanilli, see Illy right there, look, Illy, see it, Illy, what does Illy mean? Well, taking on the host body right here, this is what's the forbidden fruit. How come their logo is identical to the freaking indecogram? Milly, here's Milly. And there's vanilla, and this happens to be the forbidden fruit. And the word illy right here happens to mean unlawful, illicit, uh, and a caterpillar? No, 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 not possible. Let me just show you that one more time. Forbidden, unlawful, illicit. What does the word illy mean? Milly, illy, vanilla, a small worm-like uh, -like caterpillar. There you go. That's the forbidden fruit. And now, you know, so now we're going to watch the thing from Pulp Fiction. Now, I think we should start with what does the word Pulp Fiction, what does Pulp Fiction actually mean? Let's start there. Okay, so Pulp Fiction. Let's see, the word Pulp Fiction should be right. Hang on one sec. There you go. So here's what Pulp Fiction means. A genre of fiction that includes stories with lurid or sensational topics. That means dirty. Like it's like, like someone telling you dirty sex stories. I mean, I've been around people that try and do that. I'm like, dude, who the hell wants to hear about your dirty freaking story with some girl? That's just rank. Okay. Stories lurid or sensational topics, often violent or hedonistic, and they are published in cheaply printed magazines from, from the early 1900s. The term comes from the rough, low-quality paper 
that the stories were printed on, which was made from wood pulp. So pulp fiction means uh, cheap, dirty little novels printed on crappy paper. That's what pulp fiction means. So now uh, Vincent, which means let's look at let's look at the name Vincent. Okay, so Vincent shows up with Pitt. Okay, so Vincent. Vincent name meaning in origin, conquering or victorious. So Vincent, which is John Travolta, his name's gonna mean conquering and victorious. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the the clip. Okay, one moment. In the bag. Hang on one moment. Okay, are y'all are y'all ready to freak out? Y'all want to freak out? I just heard in my spirit before I continued, I heard the Lord tell me, look up the meaning of English. What does the word English mean? And I was like, oh, that's weird. I never thought about it. What is the word English, the, the language I'm speaking? Watch this. This is crazy. <clears throat> so the word England. So the word England is derived from the old English name England, which means land of angels, land of angels, land of the angels. That's what ing land means. Ing, ing is angels, land of the angels. Okay, so then what is English? English is the language of the land of the angels. Isn't it crazy that I told you the Lord taught me to speak the language of angels over the past several years? Do you understand what's showing you, being shown to you right now? Do you understand how the gravity of this? Okay, here we go. Y'all, y'all ready to freak out? Let's watch it. Okay, now remember the name Brett. The name Brett means a shape or a form. Now I'm going to show you in the Bible we were not supposed to take on any shapes or form. A lot of people think that the uh, the Ten Commandments uh, are like, oh, you're supposed to keep all these Ten Commandments. They are actually your they are actually your schoolmasters to show you how guilty you really are. So, but once you receive Christ, the law is no longer burdensome to you. It's not like it's like, oh, I can't do that. Once Christ comes into you, everything changes. So thou shalt now thou shalt shalt not make unto thyself, Asa, any graven image. The word graven image means idol. That's what was made in Genesis one. Let us create man in our image the word image is an idol thou okay now but remember also the remember the the calipot what is it it's an idol housing holiness that's what it says in jewish and my king is the king of the jews that's jesus okay now watch this you shall not make unto yourself any idol or any likeness look at this the word likeness means something portioned out a shape or a form see it see right there shape Form, okay, watch this. I'll make it super bright yellow. Okay, okay, look, shape. Uh, look underneath it, embodiment. So no shape or embodiment, a manifestation. Okay, specifically likeness or similitude. So no shape, no embodiment, or no form. Did you see it? Okay, so no shape, no embodiment. You're not supposed to make something portioned out in a form. No form, shape, or embodiment. But see, that's what Lucifer offered the angels was a shape, form, or embodiment. Now, the name Marcellus Wallace, Marcellus means young warrior, the god, the god of war, warrior. That's what Marcellus Wallace means. Now, John Travolta shows up with uh, Samuel Jackson. John Travolta's name is Victorious Conqueror. And Samuel Jackson, his name is Pitt. He goes, my name's Pitt. And your ass ain't getting out of this shit. That's what he says to Brett. Well, Brett means a shape or a form because he took on a shape or a form. And that's the business partner is Marcellus Wallace. And they're there to collect the soul that Brett owns him because Brett means a shape or a form. But they got the soul in the box. 
you know when he does the combination on the on the briefcase the name on the briefcase is Franzen, which means a free man. Are you kidding me? And then the combination they show briefly, which the Lord told me, pay attention. The combination mean I think it's 866 or 886. It means a fiery, glittery glow. Well, what do they open the briefcase and see? Okay, so now what I'm showing you is the language of angels. And that's why when they unlock it, that's why the Lord's having me do this whole thing. When they show up to the, the door to go into the apartment, they unlock the door and the Lord's showing me, Jonathan, you've unlocked it. The, well, the Lord's used me to unlock it. I don't get any credit. All glory to the Lord God, all glory to the King. I'm only a servant. I'm a delivery boy. The King gets the glory. Okay, here we go. So now watch. Here we go. Let's watch the scene. Because they're going to walk in. Here you go. Now, English mf -er. Okay, now see the word mf -er, uh, That's actual true. Where does the word motherfucker come from? Who thought of that? Well, it's from Parthenogenesis. Because if a group of reptilian host bodies that were formed through Parthenogenesis, the female prototype self-fertilizes, and then it happens again and again. And then other ones come up, the ones that were born, the females, they'll self-fertilize, and then one will transgender. The one that transgender into a male, he has sex with his mom or with his sister. That's what the population go forth and multiply is. You know, and that's why, uh, again, when I show you what's in this thing, this is what's coming in just a minute. You're going to see the Antichrist right in here. Okay, now, and no one's going to be able to argue with it because I'm showing you the language of angels. Can you imagine that English, English is from England, and English is the language from England, and it means the land of the angels. So English is to understand. He's like, English, do you speak it, mf -er? He's mocking Brett because Brett's been having sex with their race of beings, and he is an mf -er. He is, in a way, effing his mom from the beginning of the world. Do you get it? Because his mother is the one that produced all the living. So, in essence, he is having sex euphemistically because he's in the system having sex. Do you understand? Now watch. Here you go. This is so profound. Watch this. Ready? Motherfucker, do you speak it? Yes. Then you know what I'm saying. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Yes. Then you know what I'm saying. Yes. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. Okay, I want to pause it. Do you understand the reason he's saying that? Is because, see, Marcellus, the young warrior god of war, Genesis 1 was producing the host body system for war. That's why in Genesis 2 it says, and the host was finished. The word host means a group organized for war. So Marcellus Wallace represents the production of the host body system prepared for war. And see, Brett represents an angel that took on a host body but now owes his business partner his soul for doing it. This is... This is beyond my brain, what you're looking at. And that I can explain it so easily is beyond my brain. Look at this. Ready? Here we go. Again, Brett means a shape or a form. Okay, one more thing, actually. The name Brad means the broad way, the wide way. So Brad means water, wide or broad. And he calls him Brett. Listen very closely. He calls him Brett tw two other times before... He talks about the cheeseburger, a royale, because we're royals. You know that song by uh, Lord, Lord uh, Pure Heroin, I'll never, we'll never be royals? They know they won't be royals, and they don't care, because they're after their, they count their dollar bills on the way to the party. Just like Ian Bud Light, they'll be counting stars. Watch this. Here you go. Ready? Watch. Do you speak it? Yes. Then you know what I'm saying. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. What? Say what again. Say what again. Hey, kids. Okay, now, let me just tell you very quickly. When he goes in, the first thing he says is, hey, kids. Kids are goats. And he says, relax, boys, because what's the altar in the Vatican? It's all these little boy angels coming into the grown-up girls, like, we'll help you grow up quick. 
Go watch the song by Guano Apes, Proud Like a God Will Help You Grow Up Quick. So, see, we come in and we get a host body, and then next thing you know, they took your energy and you're dead. You had a family. I was like, this cannot be what life is all about. This cannot be what life is all about. You come in, you have a couple babies, you you work hard, save a little money, go on a few vacations, try and take care of your kids, then you die, and then they do the same thing. That doesn't make any freaking sense. That can't be what life's all about. And the Lord showed me, you're right. That's not what life's all about. Life is about decide on whom you will serve. If the Lord be God, serve him. If Bill be God, then serve him. Decide who you're going to serve. And you get to do it while you're in the flesh. And if you never do it, well, then you already decide because they get your soul. Okay, now let's do it one more time. Hey, kids, those are goats. How you boys doing? See, boys, it's all about getting the male energy. And boys is a way of saying young male energy. Okay, here we go. One more time. Let's go. What? Say what again? Say what again? I... Hey, kids. How you boys doing? Hey, keep chilling. You know who we are? Keep chilling. Did you see him do that? 666, and he pointed three fingers down. Angel of the bottomless pit. 666. That's who gives you your body. That's the trap. You know who we are? You know who we are? We're associates of your business partner, Marcellus Wallace. You do remember your business partner, don't you? Now, let me take a while here. You're Brett, right? Okay, dude. Now, let's make sure y'all heard that. Did y'all hear what he said? You're Brett. Shape or a form. You shall not make unto yourself any likeness, shape or form. No embodiment. Let me guess. This is, a, this is beyond profound. Let me guess which one's your Brett. See, because we're all angels, but we're in a body. You get it? So they're really mocking us here. Wow, wow, this is so profound. Business partner, don't you? Now let me take a while here. You're Brett, right? Yeah. I thought so. You remember your business partner, Marcellus Wallace, don't you, Brett? Yeah, I remember. Good. Looks like me and Vincent caught you boys at breakfast. Sorry about that. Did you have it? Hamburgers. Hamburgers! The cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. What kind of hamburgers? Uh, che cheeseburgers. No, 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 no. Where'd you get them? McDonald's, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, where? Uh, Big Kahuna Burger. Big Kahuna Burger? That's that Hawaiian burger joint. I hear they got some tasty burgers. I ain't never had one myself. How are they? They're good. You mind if I try one of yours? This is yours here, right? Uh, I don't know if you guys know the understanding or why. Big kahuna means you're the top dog. You think you're the main dude. You think it's all about you. That's what big kahuna means. Go look it up. Just go look up meaning of big kahuna. A big kahuna burger. So you think you're tough. You think you're the big dog, huh? You think you're all that. That's what big kahuna means. Like you're in self inflated pride big kahuna that so here we go that's why it's big kahuna mcdonald's wendy's jack in the box where uh, big kahuna burger big kahuna burger that's that hawaiian burger joint i hear they got some tasty burgers i ain't never had one myself how are they They're good you mind if i try one of yours this is yours here right Hmm. This is a tasty burger. Vincent, you ever had a big kahuna burger? Want a bite? They're real tasty. Ain't hungry. Well, if you like burgers, give them a try sometime. Me? I can't usually get them because my girlfriend's a vegetarian, which pretty much makes me a vegetarian. But I do love the taste of a good burger. Hmm. 
You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in France? No. Tell them, Vincent. Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. You know why they call it that? Uh, because of the metric system? Check out the big brain on bread. You're a smart mother. Now, he definitely says, check out the big brain on Brad. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. Because Br Brett took on a shape or a form, which the angels aren't supposed to do. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. That's why he called him Brad right here. Check out the big brain on Brad. A royale. See, they're angels, royals, and they came in. We are the royal infield. Because of the metric system? Check out the big brain on Brad. You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. The metric system. Spin this. Sprite. Sprite, good. You mind if I have some of your tasty beverage to wipe? The word Sprite means spirit. So now, Pitt. Pitt, the guy's name is Pitt. He's going to stare right at Brett, which means shape or form, and he's going to suck down his spirit. Sprite. Do you know how crazy this is? Do you speak English, mf -er? See, the Lord has opened the door for us to get free of this. Do you understand what the Lord's doing right here for you? He's proving that we are in a system of control produced by angels that are rebellious angels that trap the crap out of us in host bodies. We are leaving your host body is going to be your greatest moment ever. Here you go. Look at this. He's going to suck down his spirit, Sprite. Spin this. Sprite. Sprite, good. You mind if I have some of your tasty beverage to wash you? Go right ahead. You, Flock of Seagull, you know why we're here? Why don't you tell my man Vincent where you got the shit here at? It's over there. It's I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. You were saying? It's in the cupboard. No, no the one by your knees. From up high to down low. So, the, so again, everything is staged. There, the essence, the fiery glow that's in the case went from high to down low. Do you get it? Now Vincent's gonna pop it on the on the counter. He's gonna hit it and then flip it one way, and then they're gonna show you the combination. They're gonna show you six six six, and you'll see five 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 as well. And then the for just a brief moment, the Lord told me to pay attention. I caught. The combo, and it, I'll show it to you, and it means a fiery glow, glittery, fiery glow. That's insane. Watch. Ready? See it? Watch that. Franzen means free man. You have it. Okay, now let's, let me prove to you very quickly. Okay, so now let me. I want to prove to you uh, the fiery glow. I want to make sure everybody sees it, that I'm not making any of this up. So you'll see it yourself. Here we go, 688. Yeah, here it is. A fiery glow sparkle, fiery glow. And the thing is, they did it for just a moment, so you could barely see it. But the Lord, so they showed you 666 and 555. They showed you that, Franzen. And then right here, the Lord told me to pay attention. And look at this right there. 688. See it right there? I heard the Lord tell me, pay attention, pay attention. 688 in my spirit. He he grabbed a hold of me, like, pay attention to that. 
688 means a fiery glow sparkle. And that's what happens when he opens a briefcase. And do you speak English, language of angels, mf -er? Do you speak it, mf -er? language of angels? Do you speak English? Does Marcellus look, Wallace, what's he look like? Does he look like a bitch? See, because Marcellus Wallace, the strong warrior, is posing as a female. Now you got it. Now we understand the whole system. Now they're screwed in the female in virtue. And that's what put you in the duplicitous system. You left your first love. You came into their system. And now you've gone after strange flesh. And you're caught in everlasting chains of darkness. Forward and backwards. Ligaments of the body. Until the judgment of the great day. Until unless you get converted and go back. That's it. Here you go. Look. Six, is that a 688? Yes or no? Okay, now, ready? Here we go. Is that a fiery glow? Is that what happens when he opens it up? Does it say, does 688, so 688. Okay, so I'm going to show you 688. In the Bible, a fiery glow sparkle, yes or no? So, has Jonathan Cleck been a servant of the Most High, yes or no, to solve the language of angels? No, the one by your knees. Six, six, six. You got your host body, yeah. your box. Vincent. Fiery glow in the box. Be happy. Yeah, we happy. Look, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I didn't get your name. I got yours, uh, Vincent, right? But, but I, I never got your. My name's Pitt, and your ass ain't talking your way out of this shit. No, no, no. I just want you to know how. I just want you to know how sorry we are. That, that things got so fucked up with us and, and Mr. Wallace. It, 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 when we, we got into this thing with the best intentions, really. I never... Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Please, continue. You were saying something about best intentions? What's the matter? Oh, you were finished? Oh, well, allow me to retort. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? What? Now, see, because look at this. He turns the table upside down. You don't know any of, see what I'm showing you. You turn the virgin upside down. It's a dead sheep. It's Brett. It's me. It's you. But if you don't know what he looks like, He's posing as the virgin. Do you get it? He's posing as the female. Told you. I've been showing you this for a long time. Now, the Lord God's proving it. This is not arguable. What you're seeing right now is not arguable. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? Marcellus means a strong warrior god of Mars. Genesis 2. And the host was finished. The group organized for war. Here it is. Look, he turns it for the four-legged table upside down. The word sheep means a quadru uh, quadruped, four legs. He turns it upside down, representing the sheep getting flipped because you don't even know what yet you're having sex in your host body with uh, an illusion. The female thing is an illusion. Here you go. So here we go. Be to retort. does Marcellus Wallace look like? What? What country are you from? What? what? What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English and what? Wow. Did you hear that? What country are you from? What? What ain't no country I've ever heard? Do they speak the language of angels? English and what? And he just turned the thing upside down. That's the only way you can speak the language of angels. Is you have to invert the world and then let the Lord fill you up with his truth and his knowledge. Oh my God, this is unbelievable, you guys. Look at this. What? English, motherfucker, do you? What country are you from? What? What? 
What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English in what? What? English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Yes. yes. Then you know what I'm saying. Yes. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. What? I... Say what again. Say what again. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. He's, he's black. Go on. He's bald. Does he look like a bitch? What? Does he look like a bitch? No! Then why you try to fuck him like a bitch, Brett? I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, Brett. You tried to fuck him. And my son no. Wallace don't like to be fucked by anybody except Mrs. Wallace. You read the Bible, Brett? Yes. Well, there's this passage I got memorized. Sort of fits this occasion. Ezekiel 25, 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. I mean, I don't know if you guys understand just how insane this all is. And I'm the V for vengeance guy. I mean, I uh, my brain almost can't process the reality that I'm the V for vengeance guy. And the Lord told me, this is what I want you to have on a parachute. See the letter V and the number four? That's the V. It's got fangs like vampiric V with fangs for vengeance and upside down V for vengeance. Okay, now I'm going to let this one fly right now. I'm going to play the whole uh, segment you just watched all the way through right now without interrupting. But I wanted to let you know every facet of that scene is biblical. That whole Pulp Fiction scene is all right out of the Bible. And then the Antichrist is right in here. I beheld Satan as lightning Barak from oh, the heights, the heavens, in the Isaiah 14, Bama. When Lucifer said, I will arise above the stars of El, I will be like the Most High. I will arise above the heights. It's Bama. The word lightning is Barak. I will arise above. Satan said, I will be, I'm sorry. I beheld Satan as lightning from heaven. Luke. Uh, I believe 418, Barack Obama. So do what you want with it. Okay, here we go. Ready? You see that? That is to show all the angels right here. If you're one of God's angels and you haven't accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, then he is going to take vengeance on the system that's right side up and upside down. That means you're duplicitous in nature. That means you haven't been converted. Now I understand completely. Why did you want me to have that parachute be for vengeance made? He, he designed it. Because if you haven't been converted to this, then you're under condemnation. V for vengeance. Get it? So you have to get converted not to be under condemnation. And it's just a warning to the entire world. Uh, turn back to God. So now my ministry has been proven out by the Lord himself. All glory to God. <laughs> it's been an ass kicker, that's for sure. Okay, here you go. Ready? Let's do it. One time all the way through. Ready? Watch the whole thing. Here we go. Then you know what I'm saying. Yes. Describe English, motherfucker. Do you speak it? Yes. Then you know what I'm saying. Yes. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. What? I say what again. Say what again. I Hey, kids. Twin system, light and dark. Hey, keep chilling.
You know who we are? We're associates of your business partner, Marcellus Wallace. You do remember your business partner, don't you? Now, let me take a wild guess here. You're Brett, right? Yeah. I thought so. You remember your business partner, Marcellus Wallace, don't you, Brett? Yeah, I, I remember. Good. Looks like me and Vincent caught you boys at breakfast. Sorry about that. Did you have it? Hamburgers. Hamburgers! The cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. What kind of hamburgers? Ch ch cheeseburgers. No, 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 no. Where'd you get them? McDonald's, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, where? Uh, Big Kahuna Burger. Big Kahuna Burger? That's that Hawaiian burger joint. I hear they got some tasty burgers. I ain't never had one myself. How are they? They're good. You mind if I try one of yours? This is yours here, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. This is a tasty burger. Vincent, have you ever had a big kahuna burger? Want a bite? They're real tasty. Ain't hungry. Well, if you like burgers, give them a try sometime. Me? I can't usually get them because my girlfriend's a vegetarian, which pretty much makes me a vegetarian. But I do love the taste of a good burger. Mm. You know what they call a quarter pound of a cheese in France? No. Tell him, Vincent. By the way, France, Frank means a free man. See, they're, they are mocking the angels, France, free man, the briefcase, Franzen, free man, um, a royale, because we're the royals, we came into the system. That's why the Lord had me buy a royal infield motorcycle to go to Chinati. Now I totally understand it all. Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. You know why they call it that? Uh, because of the metric system. Check out the big brain on Brad. You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. The metric system. Send this. Sprite. Sprite, good. You mind if I have some of your tasty beverage to wash this down? Go right ahead. Hit the spot. You, Flock of Seagulls. You know why we're here? Won't you tell my man Vince where you got the shit here at? It's over there. It's I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. You were saying? It's in the cupboard. No, no the one by your knees. Vincent, we happy? Yeah, we happy. Look, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I didn't get your name. I got yours, uh, Vincent, right? But, but I, I never got your. My name's Pitt, and your ass ain't talking your way out of this shit. No, no, no. I just want you to know. I just want you to know how sorry we are that, that things got so fucked up with us and, and Mr. Wallace. It, 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 we, we got into this thing with the best intentions, really. I never... Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Please, continue. You were saying something about best intentions? What's the matter? Oh, you were finished? Oh, well, allow me to retort. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? What? What country are you from? What? what? What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English and what? 
What? English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Yes. Then you know what I'm saying. Yes. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. What? Say what again. Say what again. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. He's, he's black. Go on. He's bald. Does he look like a bitch? What? Does he look like a bitch? No! Then why you try to fuck him like a bitch, Brett? I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, Brett. You tried to fuck him. No. And Marcellus no. Wallace don't like to be fucked by anybody except Mrs. Wallace. You read the Bible, Brett? Yes. Well, there's this passage I got memorized. It sort of fits this occasion. Ezekiel 25, 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Yeah. All right. There's no arguing with it. It said a fiery glow. I showed you it was on the briefcase. They they put it in front of you momentarily. The Lord's the one that showed it to me. Not arguable. So now the end of the world's here. And it's time to make your decision whom you will serve. I think it time's up. Time's up. Do you remember when, when Congress had their time's up pins on? Mm-hmm. The, the system manifests itself, so all you have to do to see what's going on is just look at what the system's doing. And so now we're in a, uh, a place where they're giving uh, your benefits from your tax dollars to uh, immigrants that they're bringing in. They're, they're giving uh, people that fought in foreign wars, they're kicking them out of their residence to give them to people that they're bringing up from... South America and other places all over the world. They, uh, y'all know where this is going now, don't you? Here, this is going towards the end. The end is here. All right. Now, I, uh, I'm just, I'm sorry. It's just, it's a double edged sword. It's the greatest thing in the world and it's the worst thing in the world at the same time. That's what being in the system is. So, you know. All right. Well, love conquers all because the Lord God came in, our Father in heaven came to buy back your duplicitous, duplicitous problem. And so you can turn back to the Lord God and he can reestablish you. And don't forget, we're joint heirs with Christ. Everything Christ gets, you get. You get a glorified body. You, you get to leave this place. You got to shed the serpent skin to get there, though. You understand? All right. I love you in Christ. I'm going to let this video go. Uh, this is part two. This is Johnny giving you a double hug from the Lion of the tribe of Judah. I love you in Christ. God bless you guys. Isn't this crazy? How crazy is this? We'll do the whole, uh, we'll do the concordance on the next one. Uh, I just want to see, hopefully this one worked. I'm under, I'm, we're all under equipment attack. We know everything's being monitored. And they're trying to stop this information from going out. All right, love you guys in Christ. Guys, always a good time. Well, not always. I don't like saying that. But supporting the ministry is something that I just hope everybody that is able to please, please help us continue because it takes off pressure, and I deal with pressure to a level that you can't even begin to understand. Anyway, uh, you can pay us at jk at jonathancleck.com or P.O. Box 91281. San Antonio, Texas, 78209. So if you feel led to, if the Lord leads you to, please help support the ministry. We could use your help. And uh, we'll reach out to the people that we can help.
All right, I love you in Christ. Peace and grace.